Steve Moranti here, U.S. GovBid. I'm down here at the borough of Fairhaven to give you some great photo tips for your next online auction. If your township or agency decides that they want to do their photos, it's very important to have a full detail uh, photo shoot on each item. Okay, the first step is what we're going to do is we're going to lot the item. And you can start with one or you can start with 100. Here we'll start with 100, which really means item one. And the first uh, process of this is to take a clear picture of the lot number and that will indicate this vehicle lot number 100. The next step is uh, you want fairly close shots not too far away is you want the front part of the vehicle you want to move to the right or the left first and this will get the angle shot. I'm going to move to this side of the vehicle approximately maybe 25 maybe 20 feet away here and you want to make sure you got everything right in the uh, frame of the camera this is a Peterbilt this is a, this is a high-end uh, very expensive uh, garbage compactor so there's a lot of detail on it so what we're going to do is we're going to get the name Peterbilt we're going to indicate some of the good points the lights glass on it you know showing that there's no damage to the glass with some hydraulics in the front here showing the front bumper that there's no damage. You can be a little creative. You want to get the side mirrors, all the good details, the wheels. Now you can hold that camera up close to the tire tread to indicate that the tires are in really good shape. And now we're going to work on the body. It's a good side shot. Some mechanical components here. And you're just going to work your way around. Here's some hydraulic hoses here. You want to Show that they're in good, good working order. Some more tires, rear shots, for the tires, leaf springs. As you walk towards the back of the vehicle, once again, you want to get the complete back shot. You want to get the rear bumper, show there's no damage on the rear bumper. All the good points and all, and all the high uh, lighted items. There's one side of the truck. Once again, you get some more tires here. You want to make sure you get both sides up top there. Once again, you just walk around this side of the vehicle. Now, if there's damage on the vehicle, it's a good idea to, uh, to take a picture of the damage. This particular vehicle doesn't have any damage, but there, there, there's some dents here. So we just want to give everybody that's bidding online you know, confidence that the photos are really detailed. The more photos, the more confident the bidder's going to be of buying online. Here's a, the, an engine. We're not going to turn the cab, but we can get there and get some engine shots showing there's no leakage or anything on the head. Here's the stack. Not bent. You know, a typical police car or just a regular vehicle, it's not necessary to, to get that many pictures. Here's the passenger side, the steps. Now, this garbage truck should fetch $70,000, $80,000. It's a Peterbilt, so this is why we're really getting some detailed shots. Now as we work our way into the um, inside the cab there's important factors here. There's there's VIN plates and um, serial numbers and model numbers. Okay so um, the camera that you're using you want to make sure you get a good focus and there, there is also a setting so you can get close-up shots and you might want to set that so nothing comes in blurry. There's the VIN plate model plate with all the specs. There's the serial number. And then you work your way in to the cab. The transmission is a good idea to show if it's an automatic or, or manual, so that's a good idea. And last thing you want to really get is you want to get the, the odometer here. And that indicates the, the mileage on here. Now this one here has a digital, so what you're going to have to do is you can on a digital vehicle, you're going to have to turn the key on and work your mileage that way. I don't see an hour meter on this, uh, so if it did have an hour meter, it's a good idea to, to get the hour meter. As you walk out of the vehicle, if you just want to take a picture of the seat, show there's no wear. And that's pretty, uh, pretty much um, a really detailed photo shoot on, on, this, on this Peterbilt. Now the next step would be, if you're doing multiple vehicles, the way you're going to indicate a pause between inch, each vehicle is the next vehicle you're going to lot, that would be 101. Remember, the lot number is always the first 
picture you take that divides the photo shoot from the last item. And what we'll do is we'll go around this and do the complete photo shoot and then you keep going on and on and on. I don't know if you got five vehicles, 10 vehicles, 15 vehicles, you'll take them, go to the next lot number, mark it, do the photo shoot. I hope you find that the uh, photo shoot that we went over today here at the Borough of Fairhaven was helpful. Uh, online auctions are really grown across America and the more pictures and the more details gives the bidder much more confidence.